Ain't about that life. I guess in all honesty, I could start this a little bit later when I'm actually in the game. Not so much loading into. Hey, there he is, finally! Took you all of like 20 seconds to figure that out. Important text messages. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Um. I love you too. I don't know, I had gotten two new followers in the time you decided to come back. Maybe I love them more. Do I love them more? That's okay, I'm sure one of my uh, faithful followers will come and visit me. Hello? Excuse me. Hey, do I know you? Mister, I, I believe we've met. We have? At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mister. Uh... Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Mr. Miller. Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen. We saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. And those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. You know, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of yep. oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous How request. How American, right? We're very desperate. Yeah. I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but... I'm a working man, I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. Murder. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. 
You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. I love those voices. Sounds like sandpaper Hello. on gravel. Mr. Miller, if the counselor wants to apologize, he can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. <sighs> uh, what was that saying? Me, eagle flies near Cornwall, boat, oh, okay. The chat, chat filter's in the way, so I gotta... Well, I better go and do this, I suppose. This horse is never in a location. I need him to be quickly. Come on, out of the way. Hey, wait a second. What's your reason, huh? Actually, forget about it. Howdy. All right, let's get out of here. It's a stranger mission. If I want to get anywhere close to 100%, I gotta do it. And I kind of want to be close to 100%, so I gotta do it. Don't boo me. I'm nowhere near my next mission. Is that why you're working nights? Because I'm a loser. Since Assassin's Creed did it, every game does it now. Can't sprint instead of a town. Hi there, mister. Hornwood Bridges. I guess I should pay my bounty. Yeah. Tired of being wanted in this town. Alright, we're coming up on it. See, that wasn't very far at all. You worry too much. Now, where's this shine? Easy now. Who we got here? Hmm. Oh, stop a moment. Hey. A word of warning, I seen a big old gator just sitting in the road up ahead. I think we'll take our chances. Step down from there and drop your weapon. I'm taking this ship. Oh, no, you ain't. Ah. Uh. You... Hey, you. Thank you. Mind not being such a pessimist, please. I'd much rather appreciate it. And he had already passed me. It's not like I had a whole lot of choices than to kill him from behind. Here's a box of chocolates. Can I please have your wagon of moonshine? 
as other vehicles and people are coming up on me to watch me loot these dead bodies of innocent folk. Probably just trying to make a living, illegally. Excuse me, sir, can I have some milk shot? That's very right. tasty. Let's get you home. Get you. Rusty, follow me. Here's something I don't understand. Why does they animate a head being like rapidly detached from a body via shotgun? But like if you run over a body part, it doesn't like come off. I feel like if there's a level of detail they're willing, willing to put in the game, they should put in the rest of the detail. Think about how many bodies you've run over with a carriage. This mission sucks. Don't do it. Easy as pie. You're an American if you haven't had apple pie. Come on now. Alright, we're making sure you're behind me, Jesus. Becky? Becky? Good job. I'm proud of you. Got my money? It's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. Can't nope. Say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. Well, why am I not surprised? Uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great deal. All dig. I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent no, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? See, it's a chair full of electricity, and quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment, yes. Judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration. A public one. Huh. Uh, Just keep walking through my horse. The police chief? No, that's not how you spell no, humane. Well. <laughs> oh my Wonderful. god, they literally oh, had it on screen in the subtitle. Just a minute ago, bro. The chair. <laughs> Oh my bring God. this down into the next century. <laughs> yes, could you do that? Thank you, that was a good Baby laugh. Boy. I love you. I love you more than anybody on this planet. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, you know how to spell those three words. <coughs> oh. That is perfect. gonna help but you guys are too far away. Come on. Hey, I got a thing somewhere. 
Alright, well. Don't be afraid, don't be shy. Look out. I don't know what that meant. If only there was a member of my group that uh, understood what that was. Just... Stupid if you think you can come back here. Oh, I know. I'm aware. I gotta pay my bounty though. Listen, I am a changed man. Hello. You must like living here. Oh. So welcome to our humble police house. Am I allowed back here? Can I help you with something? Mister? Go away! <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. Yeah, I try to say An hello to people. Chair. And he, uh, but, he wants to demonstrate uh, his invention here. Ah, I'm oops. familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's gonna cost you $100 in fees. I'm executing people for hey, you, Jesus. Look, this will save you money in the long run. And, uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen. But, I'll give you a permit for 50. It's not like I don't have the money. I mean, okay. that's obvious enough. Well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane Lane. dispatch. Look, look right there, H-U-M-A-N-E. Good luck. On, on the screen. I'm sure they're gonna put it up there once or twice more for you. <laughs> so much. <laughs> Hello there. Hello, mister. Alright, I gotta find that fancy clothes shop. Danny, the sailor. You all right? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. <clears throat> Mister, is that you? Salut. Get Howdy. back in with the oh, cattle where you belong, Hayseed. Nice, real nice. Hello. Good to have you back in the shop, sir. Now let me. Have this a guy look. likes me. I like this guy. I need a new hat. That's for damn sure. Ah, that was pretty cool. A new hat can change your life, and all of mine will change it for the better. I want to vote. Oh, that's a good hat. Thank you. All right, let's see. Oh, we got a new shirt. Getting a little more attention from the fairer sex. I hope you're getting an idea of what we're working with here. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes, sir, it is. Wait, what was that?
Oh. Oh. What do you think? Yes? No? I think that's pretty cool. Come on, bud. I know you're not that mad at me. Ooh. That'll work. Thank you very much. People around here come in just for those. Now, what is your preferred color for this? Right, pants next. There are Ooh, a few colors stripes. you can go with for this one. Boots next. Like boots. These boots are made for walking. This land of the is a sign of a disgrace. That is a local favorite. Vests next. Yeah, I mean, if you're all about that, go ahead. Nobody I know that I love likes pineapple on pizza. Mm, I'm taking that vest. Well, you won't know for sure until you try it on. I own that. Could I interest you in trying that one on? Sure. I know. I feel good. Keep you warm and looking your best. I want to vote. I insist that I preserve the right to vote. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. People around here come in just for those. Uh, 1,210. 1,000. I want it in black. Like a deep black, you know? The classic tailcoat was pretty cool. That is a local favorite. Oh, yeah, you probably did that money glitch. I got 16,000. 16, Surprised you got the okay, right decimal and the right comma. I'd be salty about that. A good coat could save your life. A great coat will look good doing it. Everything I need. People say us tailors all sound the same, but I find that rather offensive. All right, now that I've got an outfit, a new outfit, a fancy outfit, I think it's high time I go we'll do this next that part. Should be good. Thank you. So how is everything? Shut up once I can vote. Hey, fellas. 
Mais bonjour. Hey, friend. Mais bonjour. Hello, Hi, bonjour, folks. Monsieur. Howdy. Hello. You know you did. Every day you stray further and further from God. Come on, we ain't there yet. Ah, hello, friend! Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding uh. a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, what you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels, wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. What's that? <coughs> the mind shudders. Um, we call that bestiality here. Find him for me, and help me put him out of his misery. Huh. What? Oh, capture the McDaniels? What? Is it one guy or two? Is that plural? Is that McDaniel's plural? Or is that McDaniel's singular but possessive? I want to see this stranger mission complete. Wait. You know what? I don't want to see the stranger mission finish that badly. I will do that another time. Yay! Flashback! Story time! The Sadie Adler. Yep. <laughs> He's too young. Let him stay innocent. He's still the little toddler that I used to know. No, it smells like. Oh yeah, one person. Good. So, don't you hate it when you wash your car and then it starts to rain? Well, I got a new suit and now it's starting to rain. If I get run over by this thing. I gotta type faster than that, I gotta keep up with all my stuff. Uh, I can't fucking take this horse anywhere. Yeah, you alright there, boy? Yeah, war horse. Don't David, he can't grow up. He's gotta remain young and innocent. And fragile. Nope. And I'm purposely not getting it just because it'll irritate you. How much you wanna bet I get stopped by some Lemoyne Raiders here? Yep. Sure as so shit. Right here. No. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. The British are coming. The British are coming. That's right. Wait until the first girl he ever uh, takes on a date breaks his heart. Then he won't grow up.
<sighs> Sounds of pigs dying in the wilderness. So, you gonna look into this bank? Yes. I want to make sure we're fully prepped before making any moves. It's good seeing you in action with those foreman boys. Like the old days. Oh, I'm just glad we got pulled back. Well, I'll talk to you in a minute. I'm ready for that. He's on a diet. <coughs> you know, I remember distinctly someone saying that they were gonna feed me food. Never happened though. That's okay. I'm sure one of these days someone will love me. Wait, we believe you have. Oh, oh, the girlfriend thing. Got it. So what the? Just tell him that real men have curves. Real women too. All women. Lady? Wow. That'll be an awkward family reunion. Hey, all God's people. You can't judge her for that. As far as you're concerned, she's perfect the way she is, and you are to support your brother and his adventures with this girl. That's a stereotype. I'm I'm gonna have to put you on a timeout. I do not I do not succumb to stereotypes. None whatsoever, you hear me? Yo creo Taco Bell. I think I'll call it a day. Don't apologize to me. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Nothing. I don't believe you. It's just a little robbery, all right? Nothing serious. Good. What are you robbing? A stage. There's a stage coming through. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. Okay. That yeah, sounds worth investigating. You and, uh, who? I don't know. I, I thought I'd do it on my own. It'll be unprotected. Won't be a huge take, but I should make out okay. There ain't no such thing as unprotected. Now, who you want to go with? I guess you. Now? <laughs> we'll love him too. I don't need no hand holding off of Oh, come on, kid. <laughs> but if we decide to do it once we've had the look, I'm taking half the money. <laughs> so bad. All right. Let's get going then. It should be on its way right now. It seems like only yesterday you and me were shooting our way in here to rob those fools. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll be glad to leave this place behind if I'm honest. Got a bad feel to it. At least it's got a roof. You've got a roof. Of course, I'm outside with the juniors. Oh, you ain't even 20 years old. Your time will come. Let's go, boy. Hate to break it to this kid, but he's not even in Red Dead 1. Follow me. I saw a good spot for an ambush. So who's the feller told you about this? It's a sound lead. I told you. 
And what did he have to gain by giving you this inf information? You mean, did I give him money or a gun? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. Okay, okay, I do. You've more than proved yourself the past six months. Don't forget, I was on the run for murder before falling in with you boys. For three years. It ain't like I'm new to any of this. Uh, those fellas who killed your pa? Yep. And I'd do it again right now. Of course. I get this funny feeling that this game's gonna end very badly for like 97% of the characters that you meet. Did you hear what happened to what what happened to Sean? Remember what happened to Sean? Yeah, in this game. The Irish man. Look at the lot of you. That guy. Ah, come on. You got shot in the face. We rode into town with Bill Williamson, Sean, Micah, you. We were walking down the street and they shot him. <laughs> it should have been Micah. Let's leave the horses off the road to the right here. Should have been Micah, goddammit. I figured we'd take up position behind these rocks. Yeah, seems good. You see any? As soon as they're close enough, we'll jump out, hit them fast. Just wait for my lead, okay? I said wait for my lead. This is a robbery. Drop your weapons and put your hands in the air. I said drop the weapons, okay? Okay, just take it easy. All right, boy. Anyone else? Anyone inside there? Answer me! Last chance. Come out, or we're coming in. Shit! U.S. Marshals, you're under arrest. You <laughs> 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 All out of dead eye. God damn this kid. God, the bolt action rifle sucks in this game. It used to be the shit. Red I'll Dead take One. Take up position behind. These rocks. There's a yeah, one sh Yeah, I'm right. aware I died. The stage should be coming up the river from Catfish Jackson any time now. see no escorts neither <laughs> this should be a cakewalk are you sure about that you see any as soon as they're close enough we'll jump out hit them fast just wait for my lead okay
Drop your weapons and put your hands in the air. I said drop the weapons. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. All right, boy. Anyone else? Anyone inside there? Answer me. Last chance. Come out or we're coming in. Shit. That was not the way I was expecting things to go. You took us into a trap. Look, I'm telling you, it was good information. Wait. Look. Look, there's some money here. Not much. Yeah, it ain't much, because it was a trap. Stage companies do this all the time. They set up traps oh. to catch fools. Shit. Like you and me. I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. He's still alive, so don't worry too much about it. Come on, get out of here before any more turn up. All right. See you back at camp. Friends with benefits. 20 game store. How does my varmint rifle have like no no bullets? Yep.
Ugh. Hello, welcome back. I'm gonna do a little bit of hunting because my camp's out of food. Ourselves here. Hey there, partner. Where the fuck? Oh, I wounded him. Oh man, I'm gonna get my new outfit dirty. Being too close to camp. you until we start getting shot at well have you ever been shot at by a cow whose cows it's drunken rancher up at hill haven ranch he's such a flop that we could take a whole marching band up there and steal and he still wouldn't wake up and he's a son of a bitch he said unkind things about me mm, yeah all mm -hmm. bad then i, I owe you <laughs> their last time this could be my make good i don't know i need you you know those two bastards that buy stolen livestock sure i know them I don't like them. I'll give you 60% of the take. How many cows? I don't know, small herd, I guess. 20, maybe? 20, huh? Come on. <laughs> Just walk on right through the count. Okay, let the mount up. So where's this ranch? It's right in the middle of Scarlet Meadows. Just past the road's turn off. Why are you stopping? Cause what? Huh? So how'd you find out about this place? I've been hanging around the saloon in Rhodes a bit. Rhodes? Yeah, the, the barkeep there gossips like a fishwife, and a couple of times he's mentioned how this rancher's a fall down drunk these days. Sounds like he don't know his ass from his armpit half the time. I wonder where half these phrases come from. Like, is there a guy that actually tried to fuck his armpit or something? I mean, that ain't gonna do your health no good if they find out you ride with us. Yeah, consider that. Nah, it's fine. No, yeah, I keep forgetting the guy in my chat knows uh, has tried too many times. I guess. But I think your ribs get in the way, right? How old are you anyway? Sometime between the fall of 49 and the fall of Rome. <laughs> and my second wife always used to describe me as ageless, though she did leave me for a younger man. Maybe we should cut you open and count the rings of whiskey. Now I'm ready for my retirement, though. 
<laughs> Let me tell you. You've been pretty much retired from the moment I met you. I mean the tropics, you know, the real deal. What the Dutch is talking about. That's why I jumped on this opportunity. The sooner we get enough money to leave, the better. Dancing girls with flowers in their hair, warm sand, cold beer. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna see out my days. Well, <laughs> well. I'll when I see it. about all that. Should I spoil this for him? We're gonna cut up this way. You do right. feel... Oh, I Let's mean... Let's get up there on foot from here. Don't want the horses clopping around outside the window. Come on, let's take a closer look. You do kind of feel bad for him when you realize that, you know, he dies a very painful death. Oh, shit. Look over there. The hell? Who are these clowns? I don't know. This is the first time I ever seen anyone else here. Let's sneak up close. What? Where the hell are you going? I think I got a plan. I'm doing the best I can. So shut up. Hurry up and be quiet. Ow. You said he was a drunkard. You said that we could play the fiddle and we wouldn't wake him. I was talking in a metaphor. Now hurry up. Oh, what's a metaphor? You're a jackass. That's a metaphor. Well, you're a son of a bitch. That ain't one. Shit. <laughs> I ain't got time for this. Well, come on, you, you better break the padlock. My lock picking skills ain't what they used to be. What a surprise. Okay, whatever. That was loud. Yeah, well, we ain't got time. You said he ain't gonna wake up, and we ain't seen him yet. I'll get him out. Right up next to the house to keep him from running off on us. All right, well. Uh, uh. Let's go. Move. Go, go. Yeah. Come on. Aim at the cow. Keep moving.
Oh, the pineapple on pizza thing. Got it. These stupid animals ain't going where we want them to. What? How do I? Can y'all get moving? Well, hey there. What you got? Cattle. Well, I can see that. Whose cattle? Yours now, if the price is right. Well, I can give you uh, hmm. 50 bucks. Okay. 50 bucks each times uh, 20 cattle. No, no, 50 total. <laughs> this is old Squeer's cattle. He knows me. I can't do better than that. I'll have to move him right away. We'll take 200, friend. But I got costs. Mm. 150. 75 and not a dollar more. 100. And I don't shoot you. <laughs> so menacing. Clyde, pay your friend here. Mm. <sighs> 100 for 20 head of cattle? Jesus Christ. Bye now. Be careful out there. This is nasty country. Hey, don't forget to put some in the pot. Oh, of course. <laughs> like I told you, easy. Sure, I guess. I'm headed home. You coming? Nah, I'll see you later. Got some hunting to do. Thanks for the help with this, Arthur. Uncle. Nope. That's not what we wanted to do. It is. Dumb. You gotta think about all the trouble we go through for some of these missions. No! Damn it. Not the one shot was good. Let's stretch our legs. Damn it. It only came up poor. No, you can use it for food and put it in the pot. Easy, easy. Oh, no. 
Oh well, hang on. Where did that turkey go? Yeah. Or whatever. Ow! Stop telling me what to do, you're not my real mom. Okay there, boy. I drink to get my dead eye back. Damn drunk horse. Couldn't pay no attention. You there. What? Just made a mess to pass one. Or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Would you watch my cargo here while I go find someone to deal with this? I can't. Thank you, sir. Boss gonna be sore about this tomorrow. <laughs> you pay good money for what? Probably just a bus wagon. Can I leave? I know, me too. I'm waiting around for something, right? Hey, I ain't got time for this. Got a stream to do. No, I'm not exactly worried about it. Too late. What's he do here? He just rips out the heart, fatality. My varmint rifle doesn't have any ammo to it. I gotta go buy some, which doesn't make any goddamn sense to me. use the damn thing. How can I be out of ammo for it?
Here, bigger, 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 bigger. First one one shot. Okay then. Yeah, I got this first one one shot. Okay, and I just trampled the perfect skin, huh? Oh, there you go. Perfect boar skin. Bam. Okay, fella. Only got like nine more of those to go. up with some ideas for ways we could improve things around here if you want to take Perfect a look. deer, buck, and elk. Remember, you won't find something like this anywhere else. I don't I have a perfect Oh, I have to donate it first, huh? Thank you, Mr. Pearson. Huh. Haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. I will. Good job, Arthur. Well done, Mr. Morgan. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. You'll be able to make some nice with that. Morgan. This can't yeah. do with a few improvements. Why don't you take a look at my ideas? I wonder if there's something else I could... What? Okay, Hosea? How are ya? Boy Scouts will be very pleased. Whatever. Guess we'll see if anyone notices. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? Yes, I am. How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My oh, lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, well. I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leaks? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, you must be talking about Taylor. 
I went down there. I took a look at it. Mm-hmm. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's yeah. easy. Make them make leave. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? Oh, so I'm about to die today. Karen was starting to grow on me. He didn't deserve to die like that. I got this. 
get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! Door's blocked off. Find a way in. I always said that Kieran's lost his head. Is everyone accounted for? I think. Hey! I said is everyone accounted for? I don't know. Oh, I think. You are ladies, kids, and geriatrics. Where's your fight? What fucking weapon is this? I'm using a barman rifle to kill old Driscoll. That seems appropriate! You're never taking that old Driscoll in. Shut up, Marston. You see what happened to him? Sadie, I gotta go help. Cover me! Look what we got here! One of their fools! Hold on! Get him, girl! These sons of bitches are gonna die! Why didn't you get inside? And miss all this? Come on, Arthur! Now we go back. We need <laughs> you in the house, Mrs. Adam. Oh, no, they don't. Ten O'Driscolls every time I die trying to avenge Karen. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the box. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Colm O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. Please we tell me we kill this son of a bitch! Here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. We need to kill Colm O'Driscoll! I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. To kill Colm O'Driscoll? Shall we? Yep. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. 
She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. That's two characters I like down! And the one I hate ain't dying! He didn't even get to enjoy the skulls that I crafted. I can't believe those pigs did that to him. I know. He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. Oh, we will. If we get the chance, we surely shall. Yeah. No, this game comes out with an undead nightmare to sell out. Oh, I'm putting everything on the back burner until I know we're killing Como Driscoll. Except maybe. Except maybe this mission. I gotta do this. No, no, no. But you, you, you can't prove that. Anybody else getting hot and bothered here? Yeah, and you can't prove it. There's a difference. Not, not. Not now. Not until I kill that son of a bitch. You're about to win my foot up your ass. Should have broken your neck long ago. I think I'm in the mood for this. Why? <laughs> this is the better horse. I was just wondering why I had the varmint rifle equipped instead of my shotgun, even though we discussed that my varmint rifle doesn't have any ammo to it. But it seemed, it seemed like I had plenty of it. Whatever you just wrote. Yep. Yep.
train comes by you don't get hit all right then god damn it I said I'd take out a fishing pole I wish this was Assassin's Creed. There we go. There's a train coming. If this train hits me, I'm going to be very upset. You can see the fish right there, you see him? That's the fish I need to get. It's the legendary fish. See it right there, right there. See it, see it, see it. Or is that a fox? Is that a fox swimming? Can't tell what it is. I think that might be a fox.
Step. Power. Are you kidding me? Ah, maybe next time. Huh? Oh, didn't go very far. Fishing, not some. Oh, that might be it. That was a big one. Oh, yeah. Oh, daddy's got something good. Look at that. It's flapping around. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, you son of a bitch. Come on. Achievement. Oh, now we gotta go to the mailbox. This almost makes up for Kieran dying. Show the map. Why am I gonna do that? I just mail it to the guy. I don't have to go see him. I just mail it to him. Yep. Why? Why did you want me to show the map? Legendary fish does not cross off, so it is not legendary. What? Ah! Oh, you horse's ass, you're right. Fuck 
fucking right. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're absolutely right. Oh my god, I hate you. You're so right. Oh my god, I owe you a BJ. better steal my fish. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, your ex. Welcome back. So, by Interstellar. Right, let's see. Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. Where would I find? Like I give him something, right? get the train up north, be sure to look out the window just before you get to Roanoke. I saw a white elk up there once. Hello, Went dear. back on foot, of course, but mm, nothing. How are you? Nothing, I just thought I, like, turned. Wrong, pal. Damn, that actually really bothers me. Oh, come on. I thought that was it. Uh, and of course, my game decides to freeze up. Excuse you. You're excused. Fucking duh. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. What's this show then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man, is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. You won't have seen the likes of it before. I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. Oh, hold on. Let me compose myself. I think that it's Greek. That's far too modern for my tastes. Mm. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatternay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state. 
as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> Well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here. In her... delicate! <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe she shouldn't <laughs> expose herself like that. This is disgusting. A nerve on you. That's it. Oh, oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here. <laughs> you filthy little man. Oh, oh. Come on, hostile leader. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. Oh, really? Get up, Arthur. He did not just get laid out by that guy. Losing their shit. <laughs> Mama! <laughs> How would you feel if. Never mind. I'm not gonna finish that because I can understand how that might be offensive. This show is well and truly over. Let's get out of here. Come on, I know a place where I can disappear for a few days. This way, this way, come on. We are okay. The exhibition, what can you say? It was not boring. <laughs> that it was not. Aren't you just people? Push them. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes through. I told you I was a whole ass. <laughs> you did, and you are. Now, maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. Hey, mister. Whoa, look down. Ni hao. We better have a plan to kill some Muffalo Driscolls. Have you gotten this far? Do I get to kill the old Driscoll man? Is that coming up? Yeah, I guess I'll settle down one of these days. Better be this next mission. So help me God. I asked about killing Cormo Driscoll. No, I just need you to tell me if that is an opportunity. There you are. Come on, keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. 
be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <laughs> we made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now, remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Now, I'm gonna need Please everything you got. So they're valuables. Mr. S, check that room yours. back there. I got this one dying. It's your choice. Not mine. Kindly. Okay. Me Give me Let everything you got. Quick. Of course, of course. Just take it. I said, open the gates and let my acquaintance. In. There's nothing much here. There's, what? Of course. There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now! We got you surrounded! That greasy son now. of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Trap. God, these cops are annoying with the rape whistles.
God, the body armor on these things are friggin' ridiculous. in the chest, jackass. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got... fifteen dollars. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. <laughs> Set us up. <laughs> All right, later. <laughs> Played me like a yokel. 
Put the law on us? What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So. Love you too. What are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that? Especially after that. I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. Ah. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Alright. I'll be back in a minute with some Overwatch. Unbelievable.